Welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm only nine minutes late. That's not that much. That's not that good. No, not, <laughs> not that bad. I guess it's not that good either, but it's not that bad. Um, hope you're all doing well tonight. So tonight's just going to be like a, a light stream. Um, so we're going to go throw. We're going to throw back. We're going to do throwback to Heather in the apartment days. Um, shout out to Mama Bear. I got these videos off of her channel. So I got like um, two live streams that were split into three videos. Uh, back when she was staying somewhere. This was, I think, two years ago. Uh I was going back through some other channels and most channels only go back like a year with Heather or less. Um, so this was the first that I could find from the past. Um, I was going to throw like some new meat out for us, but every one I looked at was like either super complicated. Like I want to be able to prep it fast enough or just really depressing and dark. Um, so I just like, I didn't do any of them. Uh, I went through the suggestions and I was like, what the heck is all of this shit? So I got to gotta do some more research. Like the Grace Tharp person, that, that's some crazy stuff. Um, I can't even remember the other people I looked at, but I was like, what? What is all this? But Des, how you doing? Tim H, uh, Graciela, uh, Chrissy Ann, we got Inquiz. In quiz, I tell you, like, <laughs> Lady Starfire, uh, Chrissy, how you doing? It's a skeleton, uh, with that crazy avatar that the Gala sisters did a tribute to. I still don't know who that is. Somebody, your highness, hope you're doing well tonight. Wyatt, great to see you. Um, I think I see you. Holly, Holly Lynn, Holly Lynn, never heard of that name before. I like it. Well, Lynn, hope you're doing well as, as well. I can't speak. And yeah, we'll just get into we'll just get into it here. I don't really have anything else on the agenda per se. Um, but we'll see how this is. See if we can learn anything from Heather's past. Okay. I'm so sick of these people exploiting my children, exploiting me, cutting communication between my children and I. This looks like a hotel. This looks like hotel stuff i might be wrong it is ridiculous it is yeah. way it's gone on now for maybe i don't know three and a half years um up until 2000 I'm, I'm just recapping everything like i do in most of all my other lives because this is all i'm gonna be fucking talking about until i have resolution i i mean she's kept her word because if this was two years ago, this is pretty much the same song and dance. My children have lived with me full time their entire lives. Their fathers have had visitation, custody, whenever they want. I've never been the, pardon me, the type of woman to say, no, you can't see your children. I have two different fathers of my children. I have two older children who are Mexican and white, Viviana and Luis. And my ex-husband is their father. We were I've never heard her racially profile them before. Married. I was 18 years old when we got married, right? Then that relationship didn't end up working out. I was in another long-term relationship for five years before I got pregnant again. And that was my daughter, Alexis. And, and she's eight years old. I mean, we are learning. I guess I'm learning some things I didn't know before. Her father is... Unless she's lying about all this. Orlando, Orlando Rubio. Alexis. So, um, you know, I've mothered them their whole lives. They came their whole lives, except this last four years, right? Out of my vagina. Well, I guess at this point, it'd be the two, last two years. Vagina. They are my whole out of your vagina. Okay. Whole entire out womb. We were on the vagina kickback back in these days. Your heart. There is nothing that I wouldn't do for them. And I understand. Only five minutes ago, Candy, you're, you're early. I understand that Dylan was a bad choice. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I fucked up. But I've gone public about everything that happened with him and I, and they mm -hmm. just won't stop. They, they just won't let it go. They badger. They who, is, who is they though? Like they, the public, the internet, or they, like the nefarious they, won't let it go. 
This is like I could I could see how she could grift better with this kind of energy back back then. But then again, ah, she's pregnant now. People take pity on a pregnant lady more, maybe. And a crazy pregnant lady. Like she's really crazy and pregnant now. They follow me, they torment me. It's exhausting. I have not been with that man in years. Two years. I have no connection to him. I don't talk to him. Why won't they leave me alone? I don't get it. I've moved. I went from apartment. They follow me there and start shit there. To apartment. They follow me there and start shit there. A storage locker where I where I put all my stuff. They follow me there and start shit there. I moved to a new storage locker. They follow me there and start shit there. Now I is it like i don't know who's starting all this shit or what this shit is other than like her just being in her own way um but is it you broadcasting like where you are and what you're doing all the time so your haters could fuck with you kind of like how conger fucks with james is that what happened i don't know i wasn't around back then right so i can't say but she's very public about everything she does i'm trying to get this more zoomed in so we don't have so much black bars all around I finally get this apartment. I've been I think we can read the comments here for 14 Whoa. days, 14 days. It's better. And I have had three days of peace, three days, maybe less. Fuck off. I, I've never been. What the hell happened there? She has what? Three days of peace. And she's at, so she's out of hotel convicted of a crime. I've never been in trouble before. I've never been arrested. What the fuck are they doing? I got an underage drinking when I was 18. You know, why am I being followed around? Why am I being harassed? What the fuck do they want from me? You know what I want from them? I well, I would like some documentation of these people who apparently are stalking and harassing you. The bull cut gang, right? One thing. Only one thing. My kids. That's it. I want to be with my kids. I want to be a mother to my children as I've been my entire life until they came and took them in 2019 when I reported that there was a man outside of my window in the gangway. In she, oh, she's consistent. Their entire life, before she even had her kids, she was a mother to those kids. From the time she was born to the time of conception, she was already a mother her entire life, guys. The apartment that I shared with Dylan at 2037 West Roscoe. Why are you doxing like your old addresses? My kids were there. Do you know what I did with them? You put them up against the wall and you shield them and said, go into this closet. I got to go check on something. And then you got a knife and you walked around the perimeter. And then the cops came and laughed at your book. Because we heard all this yesterday. No, yesterday? I don't know what I did yesterday. I can't remember. But um, sometime this week we heard this. Let's see if it's the same story two years ago. I hid them in a corner. I put stuff in front of the door so that no one cooked so that the man couldn't get in. I protected them. They're my kids. It's what mothers do, you know? Um, at that time, they called their fathers and asked their fathers to go with, uh, to come pick them up because they said that the situation was not stable. Till I thought they said that you were hysterical. That's a little different, I guess. was beating me. Um, he was dosing me. He was stealing my medication. And I asked for help from anyone and everyone that I knew. Everybody. Nobody came. Nobody gave a fuck. And I was left there pretty much to die. Um, Natalia came. She saw one day. I what do you mean? Well, well, fucking Natalia came. Nobody came. No, I was left there to die. And then Natalia showed up. Who the fuck is Natalia? I took her in the bathroom and I just broke down and I said to her, if I don't get out of here, I'm pretty sure he's going to kill me. I don't know what else I could have done. I was loyal as fuck. You could tell us who Natalia is. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> to this dumb motherfucker, his entire prison sentence, I was there for him. I got us on Love After Lockup, which I, I'm blaming on ruining my whole life, guys. I did so much for this man. Um, he made all these promises to my kids. Who? What Dylan did? Dylan made... It's, it's weird seeing her not with Xavier or pregnant. 
he made all these promises to me and when he was released Natalia was your babysitter and friend. Now ex-friend. Oh, okay. I mean, like, pretty much anyone's friends with Heather ends up being her ex-friend. I don't I don't see any fr long-term friends with Heather. Maybe basketball dad is her long-term friend. It's probably just Heather. <laughs> kind of old. None of those promises came true. Instead, my, my whole entire life got ripped to shreds. No one's home. Thank you anyway. That that that, but that doesn't. That's like a cartoon thing to do. He's like they know someone's home now because he said no one's home. Dave's not here, man. What are you doing, Heather? My whole entire life was ripped to shreds. Since that time, I have been followed and harassed. I have followed, filed numerous, too many to count. Nicole stole her vibrator. The one that she was showing the store clerk on Love After Lockup. She was out. I got one just in case. You never know. You never know. But that one she stole? Police reports. I have literally, quite literally, done. I'm busy. Go away. Who Thank would, you. Who would be knocking on her door? See, that's Mama Bear. That's I was like, who the fuck? I thought someone was with her. No, that's just Mama Bear's commentary. Like I said, uh, shout out to Mama Bear. That's where I got these live streams from. Um, I put her at the top of the description thing. Uh, so you guys should go sub to her. You probably already subbed her. But if you, if you aren't, you should. This is what I deal with. This is what I deal with. Anytime I cry, oh it's god, she needs dealer. to be admitted to mental health. Anytime I go live and start sharing real shit about real shit, pay attention, viewers. Pay attention to when they silence me. Natalia was a babysitter and now her ex-friend. That's what your highness was saying. Pay attention. Oh my god. She thinks they're not. Let me wind back because this is shit they don't want you to know. Pay, believe that. Oh my god, it's so fucking corrupt. This is such a corrupt ass situation. It's so sick. Give me one second. Wait. They mad around a band and slandy slammed the store down too? If you could see what I have been here through this morning alone, <laughs> it's like a torture chamber, literally. It's like a fucking torture chamber. It is ridiculous. Um, they disabled my security camera from my apartment but yet they have cameras right there what that's weird right they're trying to catch people in sexual positions no. low key, doing weird shit they come in my house and fuck on my bed well where's the evidence you can't just make these claims you can't just make these claims like that crazy woman no man who behaves that way who goes into someone's house breaks open their door takes it off the hinges enters their apartment who does that no one i don't think that happened no one who raised you <laughs> Not there. now you're gonna take my children my three children my three innocent children my babies to remove them from this crazy situation? Hell yeah. Good, good job on them. Rocky Mimeras, thank you for the 10. She might be the worst person in social media history. Maybe. Her and Letitia are uh, pretty close up there with each other. At least Letitia's not allowed to be on social media anymore. My kids who were raised to have respect, to have manners, to, to be polite, to be generous, to be caring, to be compassionate, and you're gonna take them. Like, where did you base this off? Because you're none of those things. Like, you don't lead by example. How did you teach them these, all these uh, virtues? And keep them separate from me and isolate them from each other and their mother, and then isolate their fathers. How are the fathers isolated? Are they on Autism Island with the Gala sisters? You're going to teach my kids that it's right to do all this predatory, exploitative shit? 
Where did she get that? You're going to hold me away from them and teach them to do wrong and then try to hold them accountable when they. What are you what are you talking about teaching them to do wrong? Who's teaching her kids to do wrong? Is she high in this? I mean, it'd be better if she's high in this because she's not like pregnant or anything. She seems kind of high. They do? What are they doing wrong? I'm disgusted. I am absolutely disgusted. And let me explain why this is happening. Because the PD, the FBI, and myself have all been kind of in this situation together where rather than anyone accepting responsibility for what how they fucked up because they fucked up they fucked up big and you could see it anywhere in my recap and please believe everyone who has something nasty to say has been paid off to say it it's the truth totally yeah so anyone who says anything nasty about me it's paid off they didn't it didn't come from their heart all right. Whenever I say something mean about Heather, it's it's not me saying it. I'm getting paid to say it. They have built teams of people since the, the taping of Love After Lockup. They have built teams of people whose only job is to destroy my character, to follow me around my neighborhood, Make to chase me. To what a waste of money this would be. What profit do they get out of this? All right, we're going to invest in following around Heather Gillespie, a fucking character on the show that was only on there for like 15 minutes. Why? Like, what? where's the profit? Step one, follow Heather around and harass her. Step two, Step three, profit. That doesn't make sense. Like, Heather, this is a bad conspiracy theory, even for you. Leave stuff in my car to steal from my apartment. And we're committing crimes on top of it, so we could see, like, jail time. This is a high-risk, low-payoff situation. How the fuck? They low-budget. I haven't spoken to my children now in four days. I don't know where they are. I am worried. I am very worried. I so send money. I have reported sexual abuse. I have reported trafficking of myself. Me being trafficked by someone else. Ooh. Me being knocked unconscious with liquid G and raped. My uh -oh. home being robbed. Too many times to count to too many agencies to count. No one comes. No one helps. No one even addresses this situation at all whatsoever. Like if it never happened. No. Because is there any actual evidence of any of this stuff happening? Like, is this how religions start? You like say some stuff you can't prove or disprove. And then you're like, well, um, I'm your God. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I don't think that most of these things happen. The only thing that I've actually seen like evidence for was the tire iron thing, which recently she switched like the three women to tire irons, three tire irons, but no, um, cause there was like a police report and everything. And she just didn't want to cooperate. She wanted to play by her rules. So it, it didn't get nothing came of it. So that's her own fault. But everything else she said, I don't like, it just sounds too out there first off. And then, Heather, she lies about a lot of stuff. No big deal, right? Oh, just another dumb bitch getting robbed and raped and treated and her kids getting exploited. No worries. Where is, where do I live? What the fuck happened to the world? Like, I guess in the tent, it's a little more believable now because they're like, oh, you're out in the streets, right? But here, she's in an apartment, and the people who own the apartment can't even fucking get in because they're, like, knocking on the door for rent, <laughs> trying to evict her, and she won't let them in. But all of these nefarious they people can come in and do all these things to her, and she's just helpless, you know what I mean? So I don't think that any of this stuff happening now is actually happening. Um, I was going to say, unless Xavier's completely useless, he is kind of completely useless, but is he, how useless is he? And I guess 
the biggest question I have is how the fuck did we get here and, and how do we turn it around? How do we go elsewhere? How do we change direction from where we are right now? What do we do? Because I'll be damned. I will be damned if myself and my family continue to be scapegoated. I'm done. There is so much evidence on this Instagram, in my phones, on the cloud, in the computer. I don't. I don't get it. I just I don't get it. Maybe that's not actual evidence, because whenever I look at your evidence, it's always the same texts that show nothing. Or they really show nothing. And of course, Xavier's still alive, TD. Where would he be? What else would he be doing? He can't be dead. He can't be dead. Um, so, sniff? Sniffles. She's sniffing, yeah. And if this is what's going on with me in my life, what's going on for other people? Are you guys experiencing similar things? Is the world in flux? Is this an issue of... Everyone is being victimized every time they walk out of the house, or is this an issue of just me and I'm being targeted? Where do you live? Please tell me where you live, where I can go and find peace. Because if I have my children, I will fucking go anywhere to get away from this shit. I want it away from me. But it's all up here, kind of. Like... I don't know if it's an act or if she actually believes like this stuff is happening because she gets, I'm assuming she gets some money when she acts like this, uh, either out of people who feel bad for her or people who believe her. Um, some people are very gullible. Some people just want to watch like a good shit show. So she has incentive to do this. So I don't know if like it's for the grift or if like she's actually crazy i think nowadays like she's living in a tent now right she's not really being very successful in her grift she's with xavier the worst guy like for a sugar daddy or like if she's a gold digger this is the worst guy to try to get anything out of i don't know what the fuck that's about so i think she is crazy now but maybe back then when she actually had like apartments and sugar daddies with money and shit and she just kept like getting kicked out and finding a new one like she was a little bit better at it and i don't know if, did she say all this crazy shit so much that she ended up believing it? Like, I don't, I want to know more about how she came to be this way or she's just always like this, like right from the get go. You better go to Christ. I am not a cop. I am not an FBI agent. I am a civilian, a 34 year old. I'm sorry. My birthday was two days ago. A 35 year old woman with three kids. I'm not for sale. I am no one's property. She's to me. I'm tired of walking around all day with my phone in my fucking hand, afraid that I'm going to have to go live because God forbid I get grabbed off the street by God knows who. It's pretty concerning. Yeah, it's really actually concerning. You're 35 years old, and your first instinct when you have a phone in your hand if you got kidnapped, instead of calling 911, is to go live. I got, I'm going to have to go live. before. Like, are you crazy? She can't even be like, I, I'm a Zoomer. You know, I grew up with this. You're older than me. Like, what the? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. This door. began, let's, let's reiterate that this began in 2019 and all started in 2015 when I was exploited by an officer, sexually harassed. He invited me to the jingle bash to go to the, the jingle bash. I think I've, I think I've heard this maybe once before the officer story. Okay. Let's hear this again. I forgot about this one. Jingle ball, whatever bullshit. I and I know. said, I'm not going there or the WGCI Christmas concert. Mm. I said, no, I had just started dating Dylan. We Dylan, the prisoner. Why are you talking to a cop? We're dealing with a bunch of drama with him. He was being sentenced and supposedly, I don't even know if any of it's true or not. Like I can't even go back and do Q and A. I was in court with him sitting at a pew with, next to his mom and his grandma while they tried to give him 20 years, 20 years. And his attorney, Sam Worley. 
negotiated it down to 12. And I remember. Okay. Has, I don't think Dylan's ever served 12 years, right? Like Dylan's my age. Dylan's younger than Heather. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, Dylan is like fucking my age. So there's no way he was in prison for 12 years. Dylan crying, crying his fucking being sad as fuck. I've never seen anyone so upset. And I was there for him. You know what I told him? Even if they were to give you the 20, I would still be here. Don't worry. I went and got that man glasses on Christmas Eve. And the kids and I took the bus to go deliver them to him. We Why are you putting your kids through this? Why did you need to take the bus? Where was your car at this point? Come on, kids. Get on the bus to deliver prison dad's uh, glasses. Stepdad. Prison stepdad's glasses. He made him packages. He told the key talked to the kids. He read the kids books, recording his voice on CDs. He couldn't buy me a wedding ring at first, so he weaved one out of plastic that he melted from a milk carton. I still have it. Marissa, what does Marissa think of all this? Because wasn't he dating Marissa before he went to fucking jail? And then end up with Heather somehow? And he did supposedly all this shit for her? You recorded reading books on the CDs for the kids? That's some weird... I don't know. It's just, it's not fair. I can't picture Dylan doing that. He wrote me letters and sent me all these cards and did the most. The absolute most. My kids and I waited a very long time for that man to come home and for our lives to change. And that's why I acted like a maniac when he got out in front of a bunch of cameras. And we broke up. I got kicked off the show and now everything's crazy. I remember when the show said to my son, they were interviewing my kids. And they said, what's your biggest wish for your mom? And my son said, I just want Dylan to come home and help her. I'm a single mom in a four or five bedroom house. They interviewed the kids for the show. Did they never show it? I don't remember seeing that. The kids said, this is what the kids said. I just want Dylan to come home. Cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, taking care of three children. And that was, that was how it was my whole life. My whole life. I, Alexis's father and I broke up when she was, before she was even a year old. We were never married. And I was married to the father of the first two. I've done everything on my own. Even, even when Orlando and I were together, he was in college and I worked full time. I worked full time at Northwestern Hospital. I was there five years. There's letters of recommendations. I've posted them in. Yeah, yeah, I always saw the letters of recommendations. So she, hospital story. Yeah, this is uh, her the hospital story a bunch. The recap section um, of my page. I am not crazy, and I've been victimized, and and I guess. You expect that when someone does something abusive to you, someone will help you escape. Someone will help you, you know, someone will remove you from that situation. I wonder if Xavier just listened to all this and then that's why he's like, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. I know everything that's been going on. He just listens to it every fucking day. And he, to get used to it, he's like, I'm going to have to listen to this every day anyways. And he does. He does listen to this every day. Um, Maybe Xavier is secretly a genius. I mean, like, I don't know how much of a genius you'd have to be to want to be with Heather. Or if it's just like the perfect storm. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Someone meaning someone that you've been paying your taxes for your whole entire life. Some government agency, right? I've been an employee of some organization since I was 14 or 15 years old. I've worked at movie theaters. I've worked at restaurants. My first job was at a pizza place. My second was at York Theater in Elmhurst. I'm not a lazy person. I'm not crazy. 
Am I tech box? Are you tech box, Casey? What's happening? Am I frozen? I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck. And the only thing I want is to be able to lay down, put on some, you know, some cartoons, bake some snacks for my kids, and fucking relax. That's all I want. That's all I've ever been asking for the whole time. I probably shouldn't dance to other things. <laughs> I see people comment sometimes. Like, Why is Steve laughing or dancing at Heather's despair? And I'm like, I'm not really. I'm usually looking at something else. Um, just to put that out there. But I could see why it would look off. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't get a hold of my mom. I haven't spoken to my mother in a year, maybe more. A year? I don't know if she's alive or dead or what. I have no idea. Uh, same with my sister. I've been given such misinformation. I have no idea what to even believe anymore. Um, that's their that's their scramble plan. When they feed you such bullshit. Scramble plan? I've never heard scramble plan before. But they are so convincing with it. They gaslight the fuck out of you, which is another uh, narcissistic abuse tactic. And they tell you that something is so many times you believe that shit. This is a cup. It's not a fucking cup. What do you mean? That's not a cup. Yes, it is. This is a cup. That is not a cup. I know what a cup look, looks like. Try hearing that this is a cup for years or months. Do you think you're going to start to believe it's a cup? You probably don't believe it. I promise you do. It's the natural. Yeah. Did you do that to yourself? Like with all of the lies that you said and repeated on a daily basis that you just like think it actually happened now. And that's why you fight with the police so much when you call them. It's like, what's with this case? It's like, this case doesn't exist. It's like, it has to exist. Like, nah, because it came out of your ass. Human psyche, until you've, until you're strong enough to build your mind to be able to withstand that abuse. Then that's a cup you believe it and that doesn't work i mean that that works for anything you tell a person they're crazy you tell a person they're dumb you tell a person they're smart you tell them they're beautiful whatever it is you're telling them if you're the only influence on them and you're telling them over and over and over and over and over all day every day they believe that shit. so what do you think happens to me when you people call me crazy every day and ignore the abuse that's taking place what do you think happens to me when all I hear is them filtering in? You're fat, you're ugly, your teeth are, are disgusting and rotten, you're a crackhead. I don't so she doesn't like people being people online. They ca like they kind of counts the territory, you know. And people have their ups and downs. Like I if Heather had any redeeming anything then i you know i wouldn't still be doing this <laughs> you know um i think daniel larson is more redeeming than heather and daniel larson has it harder than heather um which is why i don't fuck with them but heather is just her own worst enemy and here it kind of really shows i don't know I don't like her whole oh, woe is me. Stop being mean to me online. Stop saying mean things. She said she said mean things to other people. She said something in one of like her most recent streams that was like, why is there so many ugly people in the world? What does that do to raise the energy? It's like, what the fuck, bitch? I don't know. Like stones and glass houses. Don't be a hypocrite if you're going to bitch about this kind of shit. And like, you don't even need to read this. Don't even need to read it. I don't do drugs at all. At all. Which is also a lie. Now, what do you think happens to my children? What do you think happens to my family? Everyone's being bullied. Everyone's being exploited. Everyone's being forced to work for free. Where are that doesn't make any sense. I don't think anyone would be bullying her family. They'd probably feel sympathetic towards them for having Heather as a family member. Are we? Where the fuck are we? Do we have?
have any rights at all here? What is going on? And when you get too close to the truth, rather than communicating or asking you to not discuss something or telling you, hey, you know, this is the direction that I need from you. Can you do this for me? I'm like Heather is also the most lucky entitled bitch because she doesn't want to get pulled over. Somehow they just don't pull her over. She's like, go away, cops. You not real cops. They listen for some reason. Um, she's getting evicted and she's just like, get out of here. No one's home. I'm busy. And they're like, oh, okay, I guess we can't evict her. Like what? In what other, what other world would like this happen for anyone else? If she was actually like a, a minority or anything, I don't think that would fly. Like, she's so fucking. Is entitled the word? I think it is. I don't know. There's probably a better word. Um, or, hey, talk about this less, please. It's pissing people off. You don't get any of that. It's like a, a setup. They abuse you and beat you down until you are literally. You can't take it anymore. And you and you say exactly what the fuck is going on with your situation. I can't fucking take it anymore. Back the fuck up off me. Leave me alone. And then you're just punished. You're subsequently punished for doing what they forced you to do. For what, for what they backed you up against the wall. And sometimes quite literally raped you in the ass to do. What? Also, I really like this. That she was using the force. She's like... This isn't the uh, the ten you're looking for. She's tired. I'm exhausted. I got woken up at five thirty in the morning um, by this bullshit. I've been dealing with it all morning ever since. I've been calling every resource I got in the court system. I don't even acknowledge the comments anymore. It's all feds. Anyone in the comment is a fed. So. If you're one of my, if you're anyone else other than the, other than like, if you're my friend or someone like that, just anyone in the comments, block them from your page. Trust me. I use this for documentation only. I, I have no time for this fucking corruption, bullshit, exploitation. I'm not the one. I'm a fed for sure. I'm not a fed. Pop another Addy. Okay. I, I don't know, man. She probably just documented like, you could upload private videos to YouTube. You don't have to worry about space or the cloud or making a bunch of iCloud accounts because she's like, you can just make another iCloud account. It's a hack. Um, that doesn't need to be public if uh, if you can't handle the comments. Um, have you guys heard of trap teams? Trap teams? Tracked? I don't know what that is. Where they get people together to attack other people and frame other people and a gay op i think that's just called a gay op i heard that? about that <laughs> that's what the fuck has been going on around me is that like the old school what they called it back in the day a trap team i, didn't know I don't know what the fuck i don't know why i don't know who gave permission again this is probably the 30th place i've lived in in the past th two years because of this 20 jobs 30 residences that i don't think you're gonna be approved for any credit cards anytime soon prior to that i stayed in one apartment for five or six years with my children they have forced me out of every place i have fucking lived in they have taken my children away leave me the fuck alone leave me alone who though? Like, it's really hard to get behind their cause when you don't know who the fuck they are. We're on season like twelve, and we still don't know who they are. Like, what? What was that fucking um? It, on X Files, there was the Smoking Man, and then in like Inspector Gadget, there was like the Claw or whatever. You only saw his hand. Um, the Charlie's Angels. Did you ever see Charlie and Charlie's Angels? It's like that, though. You, it's like this ominous thing. You never know who the fuck it actually is. It's they. They are after. And we don't. I can't fucking 
I can't get behind this if I don't know who it is. What possible benefit could exist from calling an individual crazy who's clearly not crazy? Who showed that I was clearly not crazy. Showing plain black and white proof that they're being harassed, followed. I haven't seen. Uh, we'll give her harassed. The comments are mean. All right. We'll, we'll low tier harassment. Sure. Where? How are you being followed? Who's following you? Robbed. Not yeah. I haven't seen any proof of you being robbed. Other than you writing on the wall, someone stole a thousand dollars from me. Okay, so no, not followed, not rabbed. And raped. Yeah, I don't know. No evidence for that either. Over and over. What the fuck is wrong with you? How many phone calls to the feds do I have to post? How many... Po Two. Police reports do I have to post before someone walks up to me and says... Is everything okay? Can we get, you know, what's going on here? You know, if you're a federal agent, where the fuck are you at? How has this entire, I, I, I open and shut the fucking case. It's right there. Just exit this live and go right to my page. Scroll up. There's also a blog. There's also one Heather G, another profile. Go ahead. It's all a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> I mean. Go over there and check it out. There's so much victimization taking place, recorded and posted. Where the fuck are you guys at? Are you okay? Are you being kidnapped? Are you being held against your will? Are you crazy? What's going on? Because I'm tired of making the same phone calls over and over again. I don't know you motherfuckers. Shit. What are you calling about at this point? There's a nefarious TV show that bad things have happening been happening to me ever since I got off of it. What do you want the law enforcement to do about that? Someone keyed my car. Is her car gone at this point? Because you were taking the bus with your kids to go deliver Dylan glasses. Which doesn't even track right. Because when Dylan got out of jail, you had your fucking car. So like, why were you on the bus delivering Dylan glasses in jail? with your kids i don't know nothing makes sense with heather not shit nothing so after they realize that i'm not the one right and i'm not dealing with that ever and i'm not gonna fucking be i'm not gonna lay down and let someone that's a Gala sisters saying. We won't, we're not gonna lay down for anybody. Say or imply that I am something that I'm not, unless it only affects me. When it starts to trickle down to my children and the people that I love and my friends, we have another problem. <laughs> like how Mama Bear's just in the back, like, uh, uh, uh. if the feds can't help and the cops can't help, and I've filed three petitions for a court date in person. You know, I don't know. If this was like, if I were to believe all of this, then uh, a good mother would probably just take the situation into her own hands, which I can't uh, suggest, actually. Like, I can't condone vigilanteism. But like, a strong, independent woman would just like, yeah, just take shit into her own hands. If this was actually a bunch of corruption against her. Um, and get the fuck out of the country with your kids and being like, America's corrupt, help me. But she doesn't do that. She just like gets on live stream and bitches every day until she gets enough donations to, I guess, get food and makeup and then, and drugs probably. And then it's just like a rinse and repeat. And we just hear, she needs to come up with more stories, to be honest. At Cook County, DuPage County, Richard Day J. Daly Center, just in the previous few months who can help what more action can be taken on my on my part who can i call what agency is the right agency to call who is the right person to call drop them in the comments let me get a phone number who can i call for help i hope people put like mental health facility numbers in there 
I'm not crazy. I want to report gang stalking, sexual abuse, human trafficking, you already the did, potential but exploitation and withholding of my children from their mother. Nobody, nobody has any resources, but you have the fucking. A lot of people, yeah, they're saying Ghostbusters too. Sweet Jesus, Dr. Phil, local hospital. Balls to tag Dr. Phil. You had the balls to go to love after lockup. No, seriously, you need to get on Dr. Phil. I don't know if he's, if he has the, not the balls. He's, he's not as young as he used to be, right? He's kind of washed up. He dropped the ball, Jeremy, do it. Um, but yeah, you need somebody. I don't think she'll listen to anybody. Dr. Phil is a reject. He's not. Oh, she doesn't like Dr. Phil. Okay. Not even a real doctor. I don't think he is a real doctor, actually. Uh, that was one of the criticisms against him. Um, understand everyone in the comments is not only made, they're also charged. Accessories, all of them. What? And if you guys don't believe that, try going back to last week when this happened and see if you see any repeat comments, because all those profiles have already been arrested. Hmm? Arrested, huh? All those profiles have been arrested. Okay. I said about 30 times, I want no one charged. They asked me, do you want anyone charged? No, I don't want anyone what charged. I want everyone to just be free. I just want all the animals and all the people to be free in the world. I don't want anyone to be charged for the mean comments they wrote on my Instagram live. I just want it to stop. That's what I said. And what do they say back? What do they say? And the what, what room are we in in this scenario here? I need kind of a, I need you to paint a picture for me. And guess what happened? The next day I woke up and a hundred dollars cash was missing from my fucking nightstand. <laughs> Wait, what? So they stole a hundred dollars from you before they arrested everybody? And my boots were stolen. Or they just stole your shit and didn't arrest any. I thought that's where the story was going. Oh, uh, not boots and cash. Good deal. Boots. Right. So when you put my back against the wall and they ask me, do you want anyone charged? I say no, and then my boots get stolen. That was the moral of the story. And I say no. And they literally have followed me across the country. And I've, and I've ran. I fucking have been running. Leave me alone. Please just make it stop. I'll do anything. Just make it get the fuck away from me. They won't stop. They will not fucking stop. It's the wildest thing. It's like, what is it about me? Isn't Kim Kardashian available for stalking or harassment? Why me? What the fuck do you want? I don't See, that's kind of like a, I don't know if it's a narcissistic thing, but she definitely has a greater self a sense. Like, no, no one is stalking her. No one has, like, I guess, would this be the closest thing? Like, someone like me watching content from her from fucking forever ago uh but like no one is following her in real life or breaking into her house stealing a hundred dollars like don't have any money at all i have less than two hundred dollars in my wallet and that's it and then i'm broke oh you got more money i have three children i have what you see here a lamp from five below, a space heater and a bed. Where's your nightstand? Yeah, like I don't want to influence Heather to do anything crazy, but you think like if she actually meant any of the shit she said that she would try to escape with the kids or something, or like you know what I mean? Like take the kids, run in the middle of the night, go to another country, tell them this fucking sob story, be like, I need asylum. I, everyone's corrupt over in the states, and then they'll be like, No, you're crazy. But she never does that. It's always just, you know, for her interest. I've, I've never seen her take, like, any actual concern for their kids' lives or, like, what they're doing or what they're interested in. It's always about her. It's always about, like, what's going on, what they are doing to her now or this and that. Um, I don't know a damn thing about her kids. I don't need to know anything about her kids. I don't want to know anything about her kids. But she hasn't, like, told us anything other than, these are my kids, and since I have kids, I'm a mother, and... 
you need to give me money. And if you don't give me money, then you support a mother being homeless outside in a tent. You support that. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? And before that, I had a five bedroom house fully furnished that I paid for. I paid for that. You know how I paid for that? With money that people who abused me gave me after they took advantage of me. With jobs that I've worked since I was 14 years old. With savings that I've held. With with shoes and bags that I was given as gifts that I went and pawned so that I could use the cash to pay rent. My identity has been stolen six times. Six times. Who is stealing Heather Gillespie's identity? Who would want to be this woman? I don't think that happened. I've gone and replaced my ID, replaced my driver's license, replaced my birth certificate. Six fucking times. The verification documents for my children, their birth certificates, their passports, all stolen. Why is that? Why is that permitted to continue? It would be one thing if I hadn't been reporting this shit nonstop since the day it fucking started, but I have. So where's the accountability? You know, in all the shit that's gone on, I personally have gone through my Facebook and called people from my past who don't even deserve apologies. You're just doing an apology tour because you think this will appease them? Like, I wonder who, does she not have any theories on who they are? Does no one ask? I'm sure people ask who they are. And I've apologized to them. Do you know how many people have apologized to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Who's this one who apologized to her? And it was Natalia for stealing my vibrator. Who is Natalia? Okay, Natalia is her ex-babysitter, ex-friend. Natalia stole her vibe. Why would you, of all the things to steal from Heather Gillespie, why would you steal her vibrator? Why would you want to use that on yourself? I, I'm just saying. Um, so Natalia is the only person who ever um, apologized to Heather Gillespie. Interesting. <laughs> what the fuck TMI. which i forgave her for TMI. which could have been a mistake because then the next week she went on this rampage about me for three and a half minutes and tagged we tv so that was a little take? publicity stunt or something i guess i really don't know regardless yeah. the point is i've been there always for my friends for my family for my children i have filed police reports Yesterday, I went to Harvard Heights and picked up copies. I have called the feds over and over and over again. What the fuck is it that you people want from me? What is it going to take to get you to leave me alone so that I can move my children back into my house and live my life? I don't think that's going to happen. You're getting evicted. But um, I, may, maybe Natalia stole it to throw it in the ocean or something to be like, ha ha, Heather. Is that good luck finding anything down there now? I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I want to know more about this Italian person. Don't fucking worry about Natalia. Who? None of your business. You. Oh, her eyes get crazy. Look at those eyes. Um, but I want to know too. I don't know about Natalia. See, it's like I'm the nicest, nicest, nicest until they just push too far that it's like. You brought up the top. Bro, come on. You can't just name drop someone and say something crazy like that. And then expect people not to ask who she is. Like, I want more context. That's your own problem. You're Don't be so crazy, Heather. I have nothing left for you. Nothing. Sorry, nothing good anyways. It's really sad. It's tragic. It's exploitative. And there are so many lawsuits that need to be paid. I can't deal. <sighs> Yesterday, they stole my makeup. And then they returned it by putting it in the car. So you didn't just forget it in the car. They stole it and put it in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any groceries.
groceries in my house, but every time I go to the grocery store, they follow me there and put 40 or 50 people in front of me at the line so that I have an anxiety attack before I can get to the checkout. That's a new one. That's crazy. That that's what they do. They're, Heather Gillespie's on the move. She's got to get groceries. You better get that line up of people. We got to get them out there. Make sure she has an anxiety attack so she can't buy the groceries. Again, if these were isolated incidents and I was just saying like for the first time ever signing on to Instagram, like, oh my God, bad stuff is happening. Hell, fine. Throw it away or write it off as me being crazy. There are like 50, 50 times cars chasing me. The hate, I mean, read the comments. The hate is so strong. Um, I'm really starting to wonder about disassociative identity disorder. Uh, oh my God. Wow. They, they, they. I mean, they're not that bad. Wrong. It's sick. Who is they? I want to know who's they too, yeah. It is sick. Yo, she stole what? <laughs> I mean, what do you expect people to comment? This is a pretty tame comment. People are actually go. trying to help. I have a bunch of shit to do. I'm pretty much done with you people. So, fuck off. Okay. Good talk, Heather. All right. So, does she do anything else, actually? No. Okay. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Um, or, yeah, an hour? Pretty much an hour. So, let's. Oh my God, it's 11 30. Let me, we'll do the smoke break, and then when I got, like, one other live, this live. Well, where she's in front of the thing like this, right? There's a part one and a part two. Uh, it starts like this. She's somewhere else, and then she ends up over there. Uh, let me get the thing up, though, for the things. Um, where is it? Da, 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 da. This one instead. What is it doing? Oh, that's what it's doing. Okay. And I will be right back.
that all right you guys like the dogs the doggies they're pretty cute huh um i still gotta make that channel gotta make that channel in the discord so if you guys want your animals in there um i could do it put them in there i gotta make some custom custom ones um whew. Buy puppies. Yeah, buy puppies for now. Back to Heather. That's like your cat palette cleanser. Either puppies or kitties or birds or all the other stuff. Um, I see in you guys. You guys think these are your guesses for the Heather thing? If PayPal didn't, I don't know. PayPal messed up on me. I used to use PayPal for everything. Pay my artists with PayPal. Now it's a it's a hell hole. So I don't know what to do with it anymore. Um, all right, let's get back to this. So this is, I don't know. <laughs> I think this was a year ago, uh, maybe a year and a half ago. I'm not exactly sure. But she's wearing a red hat. Let's see what she's got to say. And I tried to report that shit and just get away with it. I just want it to stop. I swear to God, I don't want shit. I don't want shit else. I just want it to fucking stop. I want to have my car that I paid $13,000 for by myself. Another fucking car. I had a co-signer. Um, I believe she put $800 down. Um, and then I never saw her again after all that stuff went missing from my house. So... After I made my last payment, um, I called. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> for the do because like there's too many options, right? I don't know how many options I can do. We're gonna do a baby pool, a baby pool. Um, but then like I said, everything got messed up. I guess like I would have had to I thought the baby was gonna be born by now, to be honest. I was like, I'm gonna miss it. We're gonna miss our window. Um I should have probably figured it out. I gotta, I gotta stop. Um, I don't know. Sleeping, sleep probably takes up more of my time than it needs to. Capital One, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna release the title. Where should we mail it?" And I gave them the address, and they said, "Okay, no problem. We'll send it out." Um, but instead of sending it out. Uh, they never, I never got can it. Do... So maybe they did send it out and I just never received it. I really doubt it. Um, because they told me then, like three weeks later, that they sent it to Amy's house in Homer Glen. So they gave me the address where they sent it and I got in my car and drove there and spoke with Amy's father. And I asked him, like, I have three children this is my only transportation and I was working DoorDash at the time. So I'm like, I, like I need my car, you know, and why would you guys do that? And he's like, I don't know anything about it. Amy hasn't received any mail here. Um, and she doesn't want to talk to you. Okay. I don't know who Amy is. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any context for this, but, uh, we're going to go with the star. Oh, it's a Nike hat. I'm doing a poll. I'm going to do it for, um, I, I'm going to split it up. I think it'll make sense. Okay. Well, here's, I gave him my phone number to the blog that never changes. I've had that phone number this entire time. And I said, okay, 
can you please have her call me whenever she does feel like talking so that I can get my title back? That's my car. I just literally drove DoorDash, worked trade shows, worked modeling, sold content, did sexy, degrading photo shoots that I didn't even enjoy doing to be able to pay for that car. That's not what she said on the podcast, the two podcasts she's been on. Well, the one was her own podcast, but she's talked about like the sexy type things, how she enjoyed it and it was expressing herself and all this other jazz before. Um, and that Dylan did pressure her to do it, but once he did, like she was happy he did. Like I remember hearing her say all that. The things that I went through to get what I had, it wasn't much. But for me, it was everything. And for my kids, it was everything. And it, I was able to drive them places and I was able to go to the grocery store and I was able to do all of these things that, you know, a mom does. So I still have no resolution for that. And then I got a different car, Eric. All right. So I did a poll. I think it makes sense. I can only have five options. So I did like the first to the third, the fourth to the sixth, seventh to the ninth. And then I had to like make the last one a bit. I think the last one's probably the least likely. The 10th to the 15th. Like that baby looks like it's due any day now. Um, so there you go. That, that I, I think that should work gave me the honda remember i told you guys what he said it, it, it could have been a cadillac uh but only girls who suck dick get luxury cars uh, i'm sorry <laughs> who the fuck do you think you're talking to like you invite me into your house with no expectation you're the sweetest thing ever sweetest thing he hands me a thousand dollars and he's like i'm i know what you've been going through i know what they did to you i got you like it's done we're we're it's everything is going to be fine i'm going to help you here's a thousand dollars go get your kids christmas gifts blah, blah 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 who is this is this dylan i was doing the poll i might have missed some context never had sex with eric who the fuck is eric in a wheelchair <laughs> you know i just don't understand why everyone who comes into my life starting as i got to i we know what the fuck has been going on we know about dude, dude i don't know i've had some um only fans friends who like yeah they'll there will be people who will give them like a thousand dollars to just go to lunch with them basically Buy them like iPhone 13s when the iPhone 13 was like the newest one, just for like holding their hand. Um, there's rich people out there that I like, I don't know. I don't want, I guess, maybe desperate, crazy, maybe one case, just nothing to them, just like I don't know, man. It's pretty crazy to me. This corrupt ass shit, we know we got you. And then a week or two in, it's like whoever, again, is benefiting from all of the information and hard work that I've done. All of the victimizations that I've been put through. They don't want me to speak on that shit. They want to speak on that shit. Oh, okay. That's because that's how we don't know who they are. We never hear their voice. And they want to speak on it. Yeah. So... They force people to go through it and then they pretend like they are an investigator or a, an agent of some kind and they present the information that someone else got only because they were thrown into a position of being victimized. Why is the drawer open? Manufactured crime. Why is that drawer open? It's driving me crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Did Mama Bear just? I, I can't see. I can't hear what she said. I don't know if she said door or drawer, but it's that'd be crazy. If she said drawer too. Me neither. 
Can you I close really it? don't know. Close the drawer. Yeah, she said drawer. Close the drawer. I love Mama Bear. Mama Bear is pretty dope. I wake up at three in the morning. He says that the car is going to get the tires changed. And that's the last time I've heard from him. No. Because his sister said, hell no, you ain't keeping He already car. paid my parking for the year. I have, he paid, he set up auto pay. He wrote a lease. Grant got fired. The other girl that worked here got fired. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. What is going on here? I called the management company. I left several voicemails. I reported all the thefts. I filed police reports. I don't know. You know, I, I just, I don't know. Um, either way. Do I have... Let me see if I have the battery around me. But yeah, Smitten Kitten is also very good. My heart hurts. <clears throat> Just about my kids. I mean, and my the rest of my family too. You know, of course. The thing is, it doesn't really matter how close you are when you spend 10 years with someone and, you know, they raise you or they do this or that. You have, even if they're a piece of shit, for me anyways, for some people, I guess it's easy to just be like, well, I don't give a fuck anymore. For me, mm -hmm. I don't talk. What? Where'd the scissors come from? Heather. I don't think Heather should have scissors right now. And at a time like this, where the fuck did I put this? Up to them. <laughs> I might guard myself physically from them, but I never stop caring and wondering and worrying. And that's not for my kids. That's for some of my extended family that I'm just not close with and haven't been close with since, you know, I was very young. I still worry about them. Why are none of them answering the phone? At the very least, we saw each other on holidays and like four or five times for family reunions or something. You know, where are they? Where is everyone? That it? Um, again, What's going on with the children? Where are they? Um, why was this erroneous order entered? Erroneous. That's a, I don't know how to say that before. I might have found it. I don't know if I found it though. Well, it didn't work. So. I love how she does big words. That we're just doing. weirdly close to the time that everything, it, it, this was definitely a premeditated um, attack is what I'll call it. Um, <laughs> someone right. say, here comes the big word. Where are my children? And why haven't the people who get paid to, to solve crimes like this um, solved the fucking crime yet or made any progress at all whatsoever. Again, I just want to reiter reiterate that I'm fairly certain, 99%, uh, that there are a whole gang of people taking checks for doing these jobs, right? Is the government shut down? I don't think it is. I think checks are still being dispersed, right? If that's the case, where again just one more time where the fuck is everyone who's supposed to be figuring out what the fuck is going on why doesn't anyone communicate with me and tell me what's happening where are my children why the weird patterns and lapses in communication where they're with me all the time and i'm able to get a hold of them whenever they always answer on facetime and then three four weeks I can't get a hold of them at all or very limited. It's like the same shit. The same shit, but two years ago. Who would have thought? But look what I found, guys. Look what I found. All right. So this is Smitten Kitten. Smitten Kitten, you should get, you got to go sub to her. She's also down there uh, in the description. Um, Show us, show you, show you what, show you this, show you, 
Rattering bam. I'm a wild duck bitty. Mattering bam. I'm back bitty had a child. Battering ma'am. I'm the damn thing going wild. Battering ma'am. I'm said one out of mine. Battering ram. I'm the damn thing going blind. Bam a lamb. <laughs> it's fucking okay. One more, one more time, and then we'll go back to life. Rattering bam. I'm a wild duck bitty. Mattering bam. I'm back bitty had a child. Battering ma'am. I'm the damn thing going wild. Battering ma'am. I'm said one out of mine. Battering ram. I'm the damn thing going blind. Mm-hmm. Okay, All right, let's get, let's get back on track. Let's, let's focus, focus uh, on what we're supposed to be doing. Whoa, Black Bay, why did you do that? And then I get to see him again for three weeks, and then a week with no contact, and then six months where I get to talk to them every day. Nothing's wrong, but my life is like in shambles. I'm fucking. It's it's just what is going on. It, what forces are at work here that are intentionally keeping me from my children? Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean, I don't regularly do drugs. You don't regularly do drugs, okay. A little more truthful. I did a sober month of January. I don't regularly drink. I, I, do, I just don't like it. I'll have a glass of wine. Um, she just said she was sober. If I'm sad or depressed, mostly I will go out or or be with a friend and get drunk. But typically, you'll you'll never see me drunk. <laughs> typically, and uh, if you do, like I said, it's very rare. Um, and again, I don't judge anyone for what they do, but. I'm trying to make sense of all of this. So I go a whole year with no drug use. I think I did mushrooms twice. Only mushrooms twice. Um, this past year. And that's it. No drug, no alcohol use. And then... Now, I just smoke weed while I'm pregnant. Because that makes a lot of sense. And Lies. out of nowhere, one day, I get, a, I get a wild hair up my ass that I need to... Do a bunch of other drugs? smoke compressed gas just for no reason no that's not how things work what what what, what is she implying here that they like program this in her brain it's your brain bro happened earlier all addiction clear that day they were tormenting me what happened the day before they were breaking into my apartment just like when they talk to you through the walls of the library telling you to have air duster what happened the day before that? I got robbed. What happened the day before yeah. that? Someone made me believe that my children were being kidnapped and taken to Disneyland. What? What happened the day before that? I was told I would never see my children again, again, by a stranger. What happened the day before that? Thousands of comments and reading through this shit finally on Reddit about just complete and total assassination of my character. People be tripping? Does she find the triple be trip? People be tripping subreddit? Whoa. From strangers who have no idea who I am at all whatsoever. People who have something to gain by falsifying the truth. Who would that be? Who would have something to gain by making people think that what truly happened is not what happened? You. You. Because um, what happened does not paint you in a good light. So you would want to lie about it or skew it in a favorable light to yourself. You. Maybe the real person to blame. Possibly. You. Maybe the real rapist. Opposed to what? The fake rapist? What are you talking about here? All the rapists. Real and fake. Okay, gotcha. Since my issues with being sexually abused, I have not really had much of a desire to be intimate with anyone at all. I consider myself asexual. But that... No, really? She's asexual now? She's asexual now? Back in the day? You're pregnant. Pregnant now twice. Started getting turned on by things recently. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, 
thoughts and regular things, nothing like weird or pornographic, just like regular things that would turn a person on. What the- and that's when I like realized, okay, maybe I can have healthy sexual relationships again. Maybe I can be married or maybe I can stop. You are not even kiss someone. I think it's so disgusting. I don't like it at all. Oof, I think it is so yuck. I hate it. I fuck. If there's one thing I hate, it is that I don't want anyone by me. I don't want him to touch me. I don't want to be kissed. I don't want to be none of that. I hate it. If anything, that's why I live with this man named Xavier in a tent. And we, um, we fuck enough to have kids twice. Just like hug me and, you know, rub my leg and let's watch a movie from there. Um, let's watch a movie on the, uh, the iPhone, one of the many iPhones we have because the projector didn't work. It didn't work. But yeah, let's watch a movie in the tent, guys. You know, from being where I was, where it was like my own father couldn't even rest his hand on my shoulder without me completely freaking out um, after the rape chamber experience number one. The what? The rich cucumber experience? That's what I heard. Uh, what is a rape chamber? No, I'm glad that you- The way the grape chamber? What did I hear at first? The rich cucumber. That would have been better, I think. Yes, the rape chamber is a place where you are locked in. She's doing the the teacher thing where she walks back and forth and tells you what things are. Someone is physically preventing you from leaving where sexual abuse is occurring. Where you have to go to bed at night worried because you know that some shit is going down her and james should do speeches like this together james spoke to the church kids that one time he sat on the chair backwards and was like let me tell you something about what was he even telling them about just life in general he's like i'm crazy but it's okay because i'm gonna get by and i'm gonna make it in life and then he did not make it in life um, and Heather could teach them what fucking grape chambers are. That's a rape chamber. What the hell? Um, she can walk back and forth like it's a TED talk. The history doesn't match up. To- hell yeah. I think I showed it. Maybe I didn't show it on YouTube. I might have just uh done it on twitter this was this year though or 2023 i mean like he didn't do it in 2023 but i showed it to people in 2023 to someone who is psychotic or crazy in any way shape or form um you don't experience abuses like that in t- in your teenage years and then hold a full-time job what is she doing why is she like uh, is she grabbing things with her feet and she just has her leg up like this for fun? And then for five, six years, especially. She's like talking with her foot, like how I'd be talking with my hands, but she had her arms crossed and she was like, that was weird. That was a weird thing. Especially in a field where you're caring for people and then just all of a sudden you're crazy again. Something, someone, some antagonist. What? No, there's no outside force here. It's just all you. This is a funny one. I'm sorry. Now, what happens when you're open and honest with your husband? Dylan. Dylan was the first man. I had two other relationships, and Dylan was the first man I ever told about all the things I went through. He was the first person I ever trusted. He was not good. Are you sure that like it just didn't happen, and then you made up all this shit? with Dylan because you guys were doing a whole bunch of fucking drugs. Maybe the first two guys were more level headed because they seem to have been able to keep custody of the kids and you can't. I don't know anything about her previous husbands. Maybe they're also kind of crazy. I don't know. And he knew that from the very beginning. I kept my history of sexual abuse from almost everyone, almost everyone. There were a few people I told, a few friends growing up. 
but mostly it was, I didn't tell anyone. Then when did this happen? When she was a kid? Like, I don't even know what she's referencing. Why after I tell this man all the shit that I've gone through, does he come home and proceed to put me back into situations that are similar? Or was he trying to protect me from that? But it was his idea in the first place. He loves sex. What is this fucking thought process that you're just saying out loud? This is fucking weird and crazy. He refers to himself as a sexual deviant. <laughs> he yelled it. <laughs> I don't judge anyone. Well, I judge some people. You know who I judge? People who want to have sex with people that don't want to be anywhere near them. That's who I judge. Um, I think okay. I think it's disgusting. I think it's trashy. I think it's cowardice. I don't understand it. And the murderers too, right? She likes bringing up murderers all the time. Murder murderers and pedophiles, she would kill them. So then she would be the murderer. Again, um, the this, this situation has been ongoing since 2015. Um, when I when has it been going on since now? 2015 doesn't sound right in my head. I don't know why. Was bullied and sexual harassed by someone, a detective. Did we hear this story in the last one? A detective, yeah, the detective. Internal affairs got involved. He lost his job and, and I'm crying at night thinking, what the fuck did I do? How could I report this detective? How could I, he as a newborn? What is his family gonna do? I swear to God on everything I love, I'm crying for him. I'm worried thinking I did the wrong thing in reporting him. What did he do? He told me to steal some evidence from a woman. This doesn't sound right. That I had no idea about. So I, I didn't know anything about the workings of what was going on. And he told me that if I didn't steal this item, they would take my children from me. I was not in custody. I was not arrested. I was pulled off the street in a car with my mother-in-law. They took me out of the car. They showed me a box of evidence. They asked me for information I couldn't provide. And then they threatened me and said that if I didn't get this item, that they were going to take my kids from me. That makes no sense. You're say that makes no sense, Mother, because it doesn't. It doesn't make a damn sense. So you're out with your mother-in-law. So I'm assuming Dylan's mother. Uh, and then you get pulled over by the cops. The cops say, this is evidence about some other woman. And you're like, I don't know anything about that. They're like, well, if you don't find this second piece of evidence by midnight, you're going to get charged too. I don't know if they said midnight. I threw that in there. But um, that's what she just told us. Very long-windedly. Because, like, I don't know. I got that all in in, what, like, less than 30 seconds? We just listened to her for five minutes say all that. No sense. Midnight. I got the item. I gave it. What was the item? Can we know what the item is? Can I have some context about what this even was about? To him on Lake Street under the L. Lake and State. State and Lake. Under, under he was in his the car. Owl. He didn't even get out. I passed it to him through the window. And I thought it would be all done from there. That was still 2015. I was terrified. Terrified. He kept texting. He said, you have to check in with me every single day. No, that doesn't mean I want to know what's going on. I said, what's going on with what? I have three kids. I stay in the house. I don't even have friends. If you don't text me every day, we'll be back here. And we'll take you into custody. We'll take your kids. 
I really don't believe that. This man lost his job after that went on for six months or so. And finally, my lawyer and I... Uh, what went on for, like, thought there was the one thing under the, you met him under the bridge or whatever. You were like, here is the uh, item that we can't know what the item was, but he was just like, you need to get this item. She's like, okay. Um, and then she he kept texting. She had to text him every day or else he would come back and take her kids and put her in jail for no reason. For what? I, I just, none of it makes sense. We're able to speak with IA, not me, my lawyer. And then they made us have a formal hearing. I had to go down and give testimony and show the text messages and et cetera and so forth. It was a laptop, Maria. That's fucking crazy. She tried to seduce him. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I was around like covering Heather back then. It's just been a lot of illegal, corrupt, predatory, bullying, exploitation. I don't know, um, you know, what it's going to take for this to stop. I go on Instagram as frequently as possible, literally begging for help from anyone. You well, what kind of help do you need? Well, what I need is this. I have three children. I need, number one, an understanding of why they were taken from me in the first place without me having been in front of a judge or having an opportunity to defend myself in court, which is my U.S. constitutional right. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't know if anyone's seen her in the wild, TD. I have no idea. Um, I think I seen her in the tent today when I was grabbing her stories. But she hasn't been posting much. The baby's gonna come. Oh, she was knitting. That's what she was doing. I was like, is that her plan? Is to knit a bunch of blankets and like just keep covering the baby in a fucking thing of blankets? And then I was like, imagine if she actually manages to get the baby in that tent. That, that everything's gonna be crazy. Um, the last time she said her location, it wasn't Lincoln Park, it was like the Yacht Club. She's at the Yacht Club. I don't know. I live near a Yacht Club. That I'm still in the United States. Right? Can anyone verify that for me? I'm, I'm in the United States, right? Two. <laughs> Two. They took them. Whatever. They separated. They gave them to their fathers. Okay. And I was able to speak to them regularly. But then all of a sudden, some weird fucked up shit started intruding on the lives of my exes. Their behaviors towards me began to be very weird and strained and different. What the fuck is that about? My kids start behaving out of character in ways that they would. Uh, I like to spell says I saw him a couple of days ago on a walk. There you go. Took photos, BCG posted. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Um, so they have been in the wild. She's a yacht girly. That's right, Skelly. They would never be even before. Saying things, doing things, being sexualized. Now, I worked in, in sexy entertainment, but my kids were never sexualized. Ever. What, what is she talking about her kids being sexualized? Who's sexualizing her kids? What the fuck is she talking about there? My daughter never... My children were very innocent. They were not sexualized in any way, shape, or form. They didn't, you know, do sexy things or say sexy things or sit in ways that are overly what? sexual. Or are they like hitting puberty now, maybe? I don't fucking know. Like, what are you talking about, though? Are you saying they're doing that now? And there must be some nefarious... Uh, exterior force influencing it or i don't even know what word to call it because it's truly not so much sexual as it is stop i don't know regardless something started to happen when they took my children from me and i continue to wonder what it is and what's going on and the more i prod and the more I pry and say, what the fuck is going on? Where are my kids? 
the less they allow me to see them. Yeah. Maybe because like that's not the way you do it. Why were they taken to begin with? Is like the real reason. And if someone tells you something you don't like, you can't just say they're a fake person and they don't actually like they're posing as a, a government official or whatever you would say when you hear something you don't like. Uh, and you have to take the right steps to get them back. And you don't want to do that. Because it's never um, the rules. It's always Heather's way or no way. And the less I'm allowed to know about where they are and what they're doing. And the less communication we have. I think someone said this was Eric's apartment earlier. I'm not, that might have been the other live, though. I don't know if this is the same place. Um, Paris Hilton. Okay, it was Eric's apartment? All right. And just started a large initiative, break code silence. Um, I respect it. I'll tell you why. Oh. Uh, everything that went on in those schools was pretty much done in secret. Uh, the parents mm -hmm. had no real idea of what was going on. Um, what schools? What are you? Oh, the Jamaican school, maybe? Um, Jessica, thank you for the five. This is Dusty Gold. What a treat tonight. I know, right? I was like, I. some people were saying that they wanted some old school uh, Dusty. And I was like, you know what? I don't have any that I was playing, so I might as well take a look into it. I'm interested in seeing some old school Dusty as well. I'm not caught up with it, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying the children were not allowed to speak to their parents. So the entire time I was there, I was not allowed to use the phone. Yeah, so this is the Jamaican boarding school or the, the thing that she was sent to, the boot camp or whatever. You are not allowed to speak to your peer group. So you have kids all around you that are in this reform place. Um, and they all look fucked up, you know? They, they all look scared and sad and, and lonely. And we have to wear these uniforms and... Everyone's quiet. No one talks. And if you're lucky, your parents drop you off and don't tell you shit. And you're terrified for your life feeling like... So she's talking about a school in Utah. So did she go to two schools or did she swap it out? Like this, it was... Heather is a shifty one. You never can tell with Heather. You've just been kidnapped. If you're not lucky, they grab you out of your bed while you're asleep. In the United States put you on a fucking plane and take you to Jamaica or they had another. Oh, no. Yeah. She's talking about Jamaica. Casa by the sea in Mexico, three in the United States domestically that I'm aware of. Um, but it's, it's more about what was going on there in reality and what was being portrayed as going on there. You get this video, this advertisement. It's like Jamaica, everyone's walking down the beach, sand volleyball, attitude adjustment. It's going to be great. Yeah, they do that attitude adjustment. They're swaying around like that. Totally. For your kid, it'll only be $10,000 a month. No problem. How many parents wow. <laughs> took second mortgages on their home? How many parents took out loans? How many parents had no idea what the fuck is going on and do whatever to get the money as a last ditch effort to save your child. But these places are not <laughs> saving your children. They're preparing them. What are they preparing them? I have never heard of her brother being a famous baseball pitcher. So that's true. That's weird. Four. Now I look back at my own life. I did go over those on the last live stream I did. And I think actually I put them in like the weekly recap video as well. Um, so if anyone wants to see those, you can go there. Uh, I was going to say I got them from BCG. But I know that the stories delete after 24 hours. She has sections on her Instagram with like, um, I don't know what section it would be under though. One of them. But yeah, no, it's in the, the, the last live stream I did on Heather and then the weekly recap as well. You know, 
and um i'm surprised she isn't i was there for a year for, it was my 14th birthday Sorry. when i got dropped off there i was told it was a vacation i've heard aunt stacy verify that she, like, she actually went to jamaica so that's the only reason um that i think she went i think she verified it like when she was in live chat one time um but yeah like i said it's hard to tell what's true or what's false with heather vacation a, a church retreat um that's what my mom told my dad too so i didn't get a chance to say bye to my family or my dad or anyone my stepdad and my mom put me on this plane and they dropped me off there in Jamaica. I didn't know when I was going to come home. And a lot of fucked up shit went on. When I did come home, I didn't trust anyone. I started running away. I had never been in trouble prior to going to that boot camp. Never had any police contacts ever at all. Nothing. Well, then why did they send you there if you never got in trouble? That doesn't make sense. But when I came back, I did. I hated everyone. I wanted no one around me. I trusted no one and nothing. Uh, so I would run away all the time. Then I started trusting my peer group. And then I started noticing that the peer group that I was trusting were the ones who also had limited supervision, um, lax rules in the household. Why, well, why is that? You know? And then you start examining all these parallels. So it, my mom, that house was very strict. You're not allowed to go out. You don't do anything. You, no sleepovers, none of that shit. You could have a friend over sometimes. Maybe you could go to the movies, but I wasn't allowed to do anything. Um, For smoking a cigarette? Smoking a cigarette? Going to Jamaica now. I hope it was worth it. I hope that cigarette was worth it. You're in Jamaica. So I run towards freedom. But I don't think it was ever freedom that I was running for. I think it was safety. I didn't feel safe being around my own parents at that time because I was so completely shook over what the fuck just went on in Jamaica for the last year. I was a child. I was a, a young girl. Well, and it's like the love after lockup too, right? Like, yeah, I'm sure if this is legit jamaica probably was like not the best school um and love after lockup probably didn't do her any favors publicity wise but you kind of got to like roll with the punches and move on with life like some of the um, some of the best people in the world or most resilient or whatever is, have been through really bad things unfortunately but it's like how you overcome those things that kind of define your character and heather just bitches about it every day, which is, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so at 15, I start running away and, um, yeah, exactly. Pan. I love where's my money. Exactly. I lost my virginity to a, a sexual assault between 14 and 16. I don't want to discuss it anymore than that. Um, I have to stay very surface level in the things I discuss because of all the disgusting, malicious, miserable people that have nothing better to do than use my experience, um, as some sort of hate. I don't, I don't, I don't really get it because everything I speak on is because I'm trying to understand, you know, and I'm, I'm seeking people who either have similar experience or insight that they can offer, um, solutions, perspective. So why do I only get these very hateful comments back? You know, and that's why I can't go into anything too deeply. Um, because number one, it's none of your fucking business. And number two, uh, in the past. It's like a flamingo. Why are you standing on one leg, Heather? What are you doing here? She's a crazy lady.
Um, oh, it's not going to show me. All right. That hasn't worked out. <laughs> if you have any questions uh, about that, you can go over to my live feeds or go over to my last Instagram, one Heather G, um, and go to those live feeds and just read through some of the comments. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting the way that some people uh, treat others. So that was my very first sexual abuse. Did she say anything about that? She just said, I went to Jamaica and people are mean. Maybe I gapped out for a second. I don't know. It's happened at least five or six times that I'm aware of since then, at least. Um, and I think that people play on that. Uh, they know those are my two biggest vulnerabilities. Number one, please don't have sex with me. <laughs> I don't want to have sex with you. And number two, um, where are my children? So they began to, whenever they want me to act up, whenever they want me to freak out, those are the cards that they play. No communication with your children. And then either they rape or they create an environment and a sense that a rape has taken place. I'll wake up with my panties undone and down. I file a police report. This is like, that's the same thing she's saying to this day, but outside now. It's about that. I'll wake up with them soaking wet and some something in there. Um, all of this has been reported. All of this has been recorded and documented. And she's like, I don't even have my vibrator. So it wasn't me because Natalia stole it. She even admitted to stealing it. Look, here's the text. And they're like, I don't know what I can do for you, Heather. And she's like, it's not me. Uh, this is a long ride. I just don't know what to do anymore because I'm just worried about everyone, my, my kids and my family. And I don't really understand what's going on. Um, I'm lonely, but I'm terrified to meet anyone new. Um, and I feel like anyone that I do meet, um, after like two weeks, they're not allowed to talk to me anymore. And I don't know who tries to stop them, but they're, that's, that's, my guess, like I truly have no evidence of that, but that's the only thing I can I can think of because they go from being so kind and no expectations. They're not pressuring me sexually. Either, you know, they're nice and I, I like them. And it's a range of person, how they look, how they talk, their race, it, none of that matters, none of it. And I make these connections, they seem genuine for a very short time and then just like that, it's over with. And it's like this cold, terrifying, predatory environment again. Every guy? Every guy's like this? So, I just kind of gave up on that idea of ever finding love again. I don't want it. I love Drake. <laughs> Drake? Drake the rapper or just is, who's Drake? And um watch out, Xavier. Drake is out here. I just want to be with my children. And I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine with that. But my children are not here. So where are they? And what the fuck is going on here? And how do I resolve the issue? Drake, the superintendent. <laughs> what? Again, I've created so much content that organizes this in a much easier way to understand chronologically and otherwise. And every single time that I do, they destroy it remotely. So I want to know also who that person is. Who has something to gain? by number one, creating a facade of mental health issues, and number two, 
erasing evidence of numerous documented uh, vicious exploitations and attacks. The spoilage, spoilage of evidence. This is supposed to be my life being restored. This is supposed to be my building, my home, my safe space, a place where my children and I can live peacefully together. Where the fuck is the car? What happened to Eric? Where are my children? Where are the fathers of my children who I believe have also been manipulated into God only knows what? And I uh, all right, this is the part two. Um I think it's only why isn't it? I think it's only six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. Uh da, 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 da. that scared me. And then that's it. And that's all I got for yes tonight, which is it's already past my bedtime. It's late. I'm an old man now. I should have started earlier, but what can I say? You know what can I say? Oh no 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 no. All right, here we go. Whoops, that didn't work. Where's my mom and my sister, and my dad, and my sub? Where the fuck is and my brother? Where is everyone? Where is where the fuck is everyone? Deanna and Aaron, like where? These are people who, you know, it's just I don't know. And then I go weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of complete and total solitude, messaging like, what the fuck? Where are you guys? Are you okay? What's going on? And I get no response. And then randomly, I get 30 messages coming in all at once. What does that mean? How do I resolve that issue? Human trafficking is illegal. Human trafficking is illegal. Human trafficking is illegal. Yeah. I don't think anyone was arguing the opposite, saying that it was legal, but okay. There's a minimum wage uh, in the United States. And not only is there a minimum wage in the United States, there's also uh, a sort of ethical awareness. Ethical. I don't know. She said ethical weird. That most people I've encountered try to keep. Where the fuck are all these rapists popping up from? Why do they keep on coming around? And I want them away from me. I that's I try not to be judgmental. You, you guys don't understand. I don't think you guys understand. I don't really think I could possibly convey to you uh, the feeling that I feel. <laughs> I think it's glitching. Okay, there we go. They always do that. Hater shit. That's what I call it. My phone hasn't rang all day long. Hater shit. She, back when she still said hater shit. I feel like she's giving evil Willy Wonka vibes, uh, Janice. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? But then I go on live and they call. My phone won't ring for three fucking days. And then I go live and they call. My content's getting erased from my phone, but I can't make or receive calls. I'm not getting any responses to any of my text messages. I gotta, I gotta quit my job. Nah, I can't quit my job yet. Nah, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. I'm tired in life, though, guys. I don't know. But as soon as I create some content that shows something who knows who doesn't want to see, the content's erased from my phone. It never existed. It's fucking wild. And I just keep documenting it all and recording it. And it's intentional, crazy making behavior. They said it out loud last night. Oh, she's doing too well. So we have to send someone to break her. They said it out loud? What? I keep forgetting Mama Bear's back there. Mama Bear! Mama Bear! Um, who did win the poll? I forgot I did a poll. Let me see. Where is it here? Um, end the poll. 
So you guys think, or the majority thinks, 143 votes. Holy moly. I think that's the, the most you guys have participated in a poll. Um, what is it? 37% think it's going to be like this week coming up, the 4th. Or no, I guess. Oh, yeah, this week coming up. So um, February 4th to the 6th, so 37%. Um, and then second place would be the 7th to the 9th. Fourth place got the first to the third, and then the tenth to the fifteenth was in last place. Um, interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's probably right around the corner. Give it a week. Um, Who said that? It's a fucking sabotage. So, you think the eighteenth? My team. Your team has. Lots taking a lot of good notes. I feel like I need a glass of wine. I suppose. Um, but I need someone more qualified. I need someone with more experience. I need a better team. Oh, uh, I'm not getting anywhere. I have not. Again, I have been reporting this shit over and over and over for years now. She has a lot of uh, Gala Sister vibes tonight. She's saying she's asexual. She's got a fucking team. <laughs> what else? She said something else, too, that made me think, like, this is weird. It's very weird. I need, I need someone who knows what the fuck is going on. I need a tech person. I need a chemist. A chemist? <laughs> why do you need a chemist what the fuck are you gonna do with a chemist that's it that's really all i need a uh, wait what was the first one tech person and a tech person and a chemist what are we trying to do here are we trying to sell meth on the dark web what what are we trying to do here a chemist and a surveillance team. And by surveillance team, I mean a tech person and a chemist. They don't, like, also go as a fucking surveillance team. Like, they're not, you can't just swap them. What the fuck is this? What is this plan? Um, I also need to figure out how to put Wi-Fi in a box that can't be jammed. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm thinking. That's fucking. Cr what do you mean Wi-Fi in a box? It can't jam. Are you gonna be in the box with the Wi-Fi? You're just gonna uh, put Wi-Fi inside of this box somehow, and I can't jam. Put the phone inside the box. Yeah, explain this more. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, whoa, this got really. <laughs> There's some gems in here. It's crazy, but I, I I believe it can be done. I know it can be done. Um, I know it can be done, all right? My surveillance cameras have been disconnected since the 10th of January. Uh, I've been attempting to reconnect them ever since that day with no luck. Um, I use them to make sure I'm not being raped at night. So again, if someone is withholding that from me and disconnecting my security cameras, what would be their intention there? Why would someone not want me uh, to know that everything throughout the night is, is okay? That no one is coming into my apartment. Maybe you just bought like shit cameras. And doing anything to me while I'm sleeping. Who would stand to benefit from such an intrusion? Anyone? Yeah, like, so what's the chemist going to do? The tech guy is going to solve the fucking surveillance camera problem by learning how to put Wi-Fi inside of a box that can't get hacked or whatever. And then the chemist is going to do what? Be careful, you know, because um, Mostly the only people who refer to any of the ongoing events as crazy regret it shortly thereafter. It's crazy. I don't regret it. 
Uh, I'll say it every day. I don't regret it. That's not a threat. That's a warning. It's crazy. I don't know, you know, what else I can do or say um, to help anyone. I'm at a complete and total loss here. I don't have my children. My car has been taken now twice. Uh, I do have a living space, so I'm grateful for that on a 12-year lease. Um, but I need a job. A 12-year lease? What the fuck happened to that? I need, I want to make my own money. I don't want to keep having to ask Eric or David or whoever the fuck to help me. Uh, I'm not crazy. I am competent. I'm intelligent. I'm creative. What are we doing? That's, wow, that's what we're doing. To end in the live like that. Okay. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the impromptu uh, Heather stream tonight. I wasn't expecting too many people to actually show up because I scheduled like these just a couple hours before. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the throwback. Uh, maybe we'll do like one of those every now and then. If I don't have any other ideas, I really got to pick, some, pick something for tomorrow um, and actually like prep it, prep it. But hope you guys are having a good week so far. It's Wednesday tomorrow or be halfway through the week tomorrow. Um, Heather Friday. I don't think Heather's been doing much, but she's going to have the kids soon. So, but no, I'll still do Heather Friday of all the, the recent stuff. Um, I have a bunch of shorts that are going to, pop over once um the checks go through and i don't have anything else planned guys i don't have any i don't have any behind the scenes stuff to share with you but yeah hope you guys have a great night and i will see you all when i see you goodbye